What's going on everybody, Physio Trader here and uh, quite a day in the market. And so let's jump into a trade recap, and see how I did. All right, so coming over here, ended the day 138.50 um, as the final total on, on this one account. And so what a wild ride. Market sold off pretty aggressively on Friday and, uh, and now we're starting to come back in. Uh, big pop this morning on Nvidia, big pop on, uh, uh, whoops. Big pop on, uh, you know, Tesla did the same thing, made a push towards 900, got as high as 898.88, and then down she started to go. So played a very small uh, upsided scalp here, got out, unfortunately got out right before this thing went parabolic to the upside, and then I was building in some size over here to finish off, and this was after basically the United States gives away news saying that they're going to be shuttering one of their uh, stations in Ukraine in response to kind of the, the posturing that is going on between Russia and the United States and Ukraine and, and NATO and, and things like that. So, um, so um, overall got in very, very small size, like I said, on that first one, looking for a bump to the upside, but we did have this down sloping line. Uh, I was losing confidence, which is why I got out. And um, to be fair, I was happy to take, you know, a dollar move. It's really small size. I didn't feel confident in building. And then, of course, then the volume just really started kicking in. And I didn't want to just reclaim and get back in. I actually tried to get back in, but there was just never a, a dip at the point at the technical levels that I was looking at. And so you miss out on those opportunities. Now, I did play a couple puts. I did play a couple calls in the other account, which did work out into my favor. So... Um, now let's jump over here to the other account. You can see quite a bit more movement went on. Unfortunately, ending this day 112 to the green or to the red, to the downside. And that is of course, because I took uh, two contracts that just uh, were call contracts and they did not work. Um, and, and unfortunately just kind of left me, you know, in the dust, but let's go through the trades first. So um, I traded Nvidia, which is why when I started this screen, it was on Nvidia. Nvidia here now, besides the two that I'm going over here today, I did make around $1,500 in the retirement account. I was buying the dip on, um, on Friday's sell off and uh, you know, happened to get the, the buy we did. And I'm glad I did sell because I actually sold on my other accounts, I sold really right at the top. And then, uh, you know, this 10 point move uh, down. So with uh, with Nvidia here, uh, the, actually the only reason I got out on this very last trade, so I got in 100 shares at 238.49. Now again, uh, in, in hindsight, the hindsight voice is saying why, but at the time of this selling off, I thought we had another 10 points down that we were going to go based on again technical levels. So I just started scaling out in uh, 25 share lots. Uh, the other reason I scaled out is as soon as I started scaling out, I realized I was in my smaller account. And uh, because of that, there's no margin buying power. There's really, I wasn't able to get any more than just the 100. And so because of that, uh, I figured it just gonna take the quick profits. And I was already on a red day, so I didn't wanna see, you know, just collect the profits as extra 37 bucks. Now, of course, again, in hindsight, um, would have, you know, not only made me green, but it would made me, you know, plenty green. It would have reversed um, most of these losing trades. So, but let's jump into the option side. So. Over here, uh, the option contracts, I mean, let's just take a look at the, the big loser over here. I got in two at, um, I got in over here at 25.55 and 24.70. And I mean, look where the price is now. So I got into these prices here. So it was right over here on this bump. Uh, I was trying to play a bounce off the VWAP. I got it, I just didn't get the push I needed. And then when we started to roll over here on this candle, when we went sideways for a while, so I felt fine, I felt protected, even though I knew the pressure was down. Um, but then when I ended up, uh, I actually marketed out on those and uh, did not realize that it was gonna be, um, I didn't market out, I technically just smashed the bid real quick, which I would consider a market. And, um, and essentially did get a rather sizable loss, which was just unfortunate. It's only two contracts too, so I'm, I'm glad I'm still keeping it very small, relatively small. Uh, from an option contract side, which, you know, despite the, you know, bigger number from a losing side, again, I'll perfectly admit that I'm still trying to learn options, trying to figure out which ones work for me and, uh, you know, how far in the money or out of the money I want to be. This particular one, I was out of the money already, which is why as it went against me, it was just starting to chew away from me. Now, granted, I did not fall through this. This would have been multi-thousand dollar loss on that one and it would not have, uh, you know, tasted very good. Other than that, played a couple puts. Um, let's see, 
This right here is probably the most disappointing one. So the 900 put I got was right here. So I got this 900 put, 3640 got two of them. Uh, I was trying to sell them off at 39. Now this was again over here where this contract was, where I was buying, and it was in this, it was in this channel where I was just getting, you know, eaten alive. Not really eaten alive, because technically I wasn't losing money, but it was just not working, not working, not working. I sold one, sold the other one. The contracts, they just had really, really, really low volume, which unfortunately made it much harder for me to get in and out of the, the prices I wanted. And the spreads were over a dollar difference. And right now the spreads are a little bit less than that. It looks like they're around 80 cents. But the spreads were over a dollar difference, which just made it like kind of annoying going back and forth. It was a tug of war. Now, granted, I got out on this candle right here. I thought we were going to get a bounce. And then, boom, we flushed through it. And um, I think the price at one point down over here, the price was around, last I looked, I think was on this candle, the price was around 49. So, um, and I got out at 36, um, so 36.65. So uh, definitely really annoying, but it is what it is, you know? So I still made 50 bucks on it. Like I said, still trying to learn. Um, and it just so happened that I did finally get that big move in my favor. And it, and it did, um, it, it would have worked out uh, really, really nicely. It just didn't happen to work out that way for me. And then the one and only, you know, call contract I did was a 900 call, which is actually way, way over here in the front. So, um, definitely later of a day, it was in this kind of move up here. Um, it, it was actually closer to the top, which I was glad I got out of because it, uh, would not have worked very long. Uh, I mean, so let's just see what are the prices now. So it would have been a $700 loss right there. So, um, either way, that is it um, for me. So, um, you know, that's the trading day. So, hey, that's it for me. That was a trading day. Overall, you know, I'd say it's a relatively flat day. Made around 1500 in the, the retirement account. So, I'll take that. So, uh, if you have any questions, reach out in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.